I'm uh, Christian, uh, Christian Bull from Factory 92 here in uh, Hamburg, Germany. We are kind of a, let's say we have two feet as an agency. On the one hand, we work a lot on the private side uh, with the live sector and the recorded sector here in the German-speaking markets. So Germany, Austria and Switzerland work for festivals like Sigurd, Roscoe Festival, Exit Festival, kind of mobilizing German-speaking music tourism in the summer, so those events. So it's nice that we can do that again. Um, we do tour PR as well for different companies like MCT, which is a Berlin-based booking agency. And we do radio plugging for different record labels. Some famous ones like Secretly Canadian and Sub Pop, but also a lot of smaller ones. So it's a mixture of independent music that we have on the German radios. On the other hand, we also work a lot with music export. We've been working with a lot of export offices, including the Ukrainian export office. I started working in music export I'm originally from Denmark, so I used to work for MXD, Music Export Denmark and Spot Festival, which is the Danish showcase. That's how I got to know my German business partner, because I was hiring him to do PR in Germany. Mm -hmm. So my background is very much rooted in helping emerging artists break into different markets. So the elements that an artist should take into consideration when, let's say, starting an album launch, um, I think is timing. Don't do it too short notice. and. It can easily become short notice because the elements that you need are manifold nowadays. So it's not just recording the music, it's also having content, pictures, music videos, sessions. All of that takes time and money to prepare. And often you have a situation, like if we take worst case, that an artist spends a lot of energy into recording a great album and then they just want to get it out and they want to get it out immediately. And the reality is you should probably stretch it at least a year. Um, so you need to have a good content plan, not just for recording the music, but also everything else, all the visuals, especially with social media. So timing is absolutely essential. The other thing is that obviously knowing which markets you can, you know, approach where you have a chance. You can't, you know, invade the world as a newcomer artist, especially not nowadays. So what kind of team do you need in which markets? So let's say if you are having Germany as a priority market, obviously you need to have communication partners. You can't do it all from, let's say, here for Copenhagen, uh, you need to actually have PR partners on the ground. If you don't have a label that can do that for you, then you need to hire external PR people and you need to find the right people for the project as well. You need to know what kind of music you're doing. If you're doing death metal, you probably shouldn't do radio plugging. It's not going to make a lot of sense and it's a waste of money. So then it's more like finding someone who's specialized in all the community blogs and magazines and maybe there's some special radio shows as well. Or someone that really is into that scene. Um, it's also knowing what kind of music are we actually doing, where do we have a chance. So that's an important part, but also, and that's getting really difficult now, is you know, to go out there and play shows. That is still the best way for most artists to break the market and win fans, is to get out there and play for relevant audiences. But the booking agents have obviously suffered a lot during the pandemic and are not taking a lot of risks. So. I think this is actually like a chicken and the egg situation. You probably shouldn't wait just because you don't have a booking agent anymore. But then maybe you should be looking at, is my export office doing stuff at Riverbahn or Pop or Most Wanted Music here in Germany, the different live events that actually showcase new talent. Maybe I can actually get a chance to get my foot in live at one of these events, make use of those structures. But that is really a difficult thing. In the past, we would have said, find a booking agent, then make a release plan around your tour, tour and stuff, but you can't plan like that right now. There's not enough windows. So I think building a team is really important, but there's a lot of responsibility that comes back to the artist as well. And also finding funding, you know, that's the third, third part timing team and funding because it's really expensive. It's expensive to make music videos. It's expensive to promote art, music, also social media marketing and PR services and so on and forth. So, I think if you have those three things in place or in the best possible way, then you're about ready to, to get going. And then of course you never know, you just need to work for it.